I was wrestling scissors out of a child's hand who was having a temper tantrum though, so that was cool. I am currently changing our calendar because it still says December, so I figured it's about time to put April on there. Uh oh. Well, I never know what's going on. We're doing Follow the Drinking Gourd by Rollo Dilworth. The water is wide by Rollo Dilworth. Arranged, of course. Over the Rainbow, arranged by Andy Beck. And Kusi Mama, arranged by um, Jim Papoulis, or written by Jim Papoulis. Really? Like, if we just keep taking all those out, it's more like 25 teaching days, which is crazy. I survived the week, which I didn't know if I was gonna be able to, but I did, ha ha ha. We gon' walk it out and move on days And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day I rise Good morning, happy Monday. I am like exhausted. I don't know if you can see the bags under my eyes, but I'm so anxious right now. I woke up at like 3 o'clock and I have not really been asleep since. I tried to like snooze my alarm a little bit and like stay laying down even though I wasn't really sleeping but it's gonna be a rough day to say the least because I went to bed at like 10 that means I got like five hours of sleep maybe so thank goodness for my all natural um, pre-workout or else I might actually be dead right now I'm gonna do one and a half scoops because I need all the help I can get but I don't think I need two full scoops so I'm gonna go drink this and do my devotional and then get started on my workout. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. scrambling somehow like I'm just not prepared for this week I don't know how I like I know what I want to do with my lessons but I didn't like write them out which is unlike me to not be prepared <laughs> I also don't have my new rosters for this semester like I'm pretty much a disaster at this point <laughs> so I'm trying to um <laughs> get my life together essentially but I woke up at four I did my workout um and yeah now I'm gonna print out my rosters that's like not the end of the world because I still have my ones from last semester and I could just write on the side of them but I would really like to um oh my gosh so annoying I don't want to create an account I just want you to give me that for free no okay <laughs> sorry um yeah I, I don't know what happened. I am going over note names and stuff with my older kids and then little kids will... <laughs> I'm putting my rosters right now. I found a free um, template online. Hopefully I am. It's like taking forever to load. And then I'm going to throw my lesson together. I don't know what's going on. Um, I am just a hot mess. Like seriously, I really am. Y'all, I am exhausted. <laughs> I feel like I got ran over by a train, but if I think about it, I really haven't stopped going since I got here or started my first duty at 7.25 um, because it's my plan bell, last five minutes of my plan bell, and I've spent this whole time getting my Tuesday rosters ready, so I don't need to worry about rushing and doing that tomorrow morning during my morning plan bell that I'll have tomorrow. Instead, I can just get started on the Wednesday ones. Um, today stinks though because we have a correlate meeting after school. I'm on the parent involvement correlate and I know that we don't really have anything left to do this year. So I know our meeting's gonna take like five minutes and I'm gonna have to come back to my room till 3.30, but I don't know 
if I can do any more work when I get in here, I might go crazy for real. But luckily I have some snacks in my bag that'll definitely put me in a better mood. I need to get nice coffee on my way home or I'm gonna straight up fall asleep. I told you guys I did not, I, well I slept fine, but I woke up at like three for some reason. I think sometimes I get like fearful that I'm gonna miss my alarms. I don't know why, but I, I don't know if you guys ever experienced that. But like when you're getting back into school, you're like, oh my gosh, what if I sleep through my alarms? And then your body's like sort of on red alert. Um, hours before it needs to be but yeah so my monday and tuesday rosters are done for the rest of the school year and oh my gosh i did not realize like i knew the year was almost over but writing out the rest of the dates that we have that's the rest of the times i'm seeing my tuesday groups i'm only seeing them one two three four five nine times and i don't even think i'll see them all nine times because there's so many random field trips happening that i'll probably miss them at least one day then my monday kids Two of the days I will be in Cancun, yes. And that just happens to be a fr Monday, Friday. So those kids, since I already saw them today, I'm only gonna see them one, two, three, four, seven more times. That's crazy. I can't wait to see what my Wednesday and Thursday groups look like. But yeah, today went really well. I felt so unprepared in the morning, but I ended up having two like times where my vice principal, I think was giving me an informal observation and they went well well they went the way that they went they weren't bad I, I was doing stuff um during one of them i was wrestling scissors out of a child's hand who was having a temper tantrum though so that was cool how i got the scissors mystery um i had him sitting over with the para because first grade is so big that they come with a para and I don't know what happened, but she's a really good para, so I know like she wasn't not watching him, but because he had already hit a child, that's why he was over there. And somehow he got scissors. I don't know where he got them. Lord only knows. But then I saw her like sort of not wrestling him for real, but like rest, like holding him to the ground and talking to him. She's super calm and very um, like she has so much patience, so much more than I would if I had to be with that class all day every day, because that class is something else. But then I saw scissors under his leg and I was like, oh my gosh. So I ran over there and lifted his leg up and grabbed the scissors really quick. Um, thank goodness because he was already in trouble for being violent and then he somehow got his hand on scissors. And like, I don't have supplies sitting around. I have no idea where he got those. He must have really quickly dug in like a drawer of mine. Like, what even? But with sixth, fifth, and fourth grade, we reviewed note names and we did, I quizzed them and said, you have to get 12 note names right in 30 seconds as a class to move on to recorders. And all the classes passed, I sort of made it so that they would. And then second and third grade, we are also doing note names, but we are starting with reviewing just following G and E and understanding like steps and skips and blah, blah, blah. Then first grade and kindergarten, we are working on slow and fast. And we did a bunch of really fun stuff with slow and fast um, kindergarten we end up scarf dancing and i'm gonna insert the cutest clip i can only show a little bit because if he turns his face i can't show it but one of my kindergartners i was trying to record myself for um this teaching thing and i ended up not getting myself in the camera at all but caught like the cutest moment of this boy so into his scarf dancing it is so adorable but yeah, so we talked about tempo. That's our fancy music word for speed. Um, that's what I call it. And then worked on slow and fast. And it was a good day. First grade, we got out the drums. Kindergarten, we did not. I probably won't get out the drums for the rest of the first grade. But that's the one that the vice principal came to. So he probably was happy to see the instruments being used. And then he had to stop by again during my second grade bell. And they were doing the orf instruments. So I was like, look at me getting all these instruments out in one day. <laughs> but this is what I wore today. I really liked my outfit. Um, these pants that are old. I don't even know where they're from. And these shoes that are probably from like Forever 21. And this pink sweater. And I just pinned my bangs back a little bit, which the kids liked. And my necklace that I wear like all the time. But I was really comfy, comfy today and the kids said they liked my outfit. Good morning. Time to work me, That's why I gave you everything. Held you close by the stormy seas. Oh, you meant the world to me. Tuesday um I am so happy I did my workout this morning guys the struggle was so real I tried to skip it <laughs> I tried everything to skip it um I woke up at four was exhausted 
laid back down till 4.15 or something, and then was thought I was awake and then woke up again at 4.30 without an alarm and was like, uh-oh. So then I realized like, okay, you're more tired than you thought because you fell back asleep with while you were like awake, if that makes sense. Like I was playing on my phone or whatever and fell back asleep. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna wake up at five. That's like the latest I can wake up and still do my workout. And that's really pushing it because that means I have to like drink my pre-workout and it kicks in mid-workout pretty much. Um, so then I woke up at five and I'm like, I'm like, do I have to work out? Like, I didn't really want to. And I almost skipped it. And I ended up not skipping it. And it was a great workout. It was cardio, um, HIIT training, high intensity interval training. I burned so many calories. I just felt like, yes, like, I'm so happy I didn't skip it because I <laughs> would have <laughs> if I had just one more little nudge. Um, so that's good. I just am right now adding dates to my calendar. My niece, who was on the, my dance team, dance season is over, but she's doing soccer now. And so she has soccer games, like it looks like every single Sunday after this week. So she doesn't have anything this week and then starting next Sunday, every Sunday she's got a game. So I'll try to go to as many as I can. Um, I'll be out of town for a couple of them, it looks like. But, yeah, I'll get to see at least one, two, three, four, five of them. So that's exciting. Should be funny. Little kids playing soccer is always a good time. But I have my planning bell first thing this morning. So I'm going to go out and do my morning duty, which is holding the door open while the kindergartners and first graders come inside and just saying hello and making putting out any fires that happen out there, which you'd be surprised. <laughs> and then during my planning bell I'm going to I don't think I'm going to work on my class list because I have time during class because my sixth fifth fourth third and second graders are all watching a 10 minute video this week and those 10 minutes add up and like I can do my class list while I'm sitting with the kids while they're watching the video like I'm not standing in front of the video like like that would be stupid um so I think I'll just save my class list for them because I have today's done and that was like what was most important so I think I'll work on Wednesdays and Thursdays then. And after school, I have to kill like an hour and a half because I have to take my car to the shop at 4, but I'm done it with school at 2.30, so I have to like find stuff to do in between. So maybe I'll work on that then too if I'm worried about it. Oh my gosh, cutest, th cutest thing ever. When I came in from duty, I saw there was like a red carpet rolled out out of red bulletin board paper. I'm like, what is this for? The kindergarten teacher was like, don't you read your email? I was like, no, not if it's about testing because I don't have anything to do with testing. So I just don't read it, honestly. Um, it was so cute. Um, so they had the first kindergarten, first and second graders line up in the hallway with these like signs that said like, do your best on the test and blah, blah, because state testing starts today. And they, and then as the sixth, fifth, fourth and third graders walked down the hallway they walked on the red carpet and the little kids are cheering for them so cute i'll insert the little clip i took in here i couldn't get their faces obviously but you get the idea i made it through to say <laughs> um today was good and we started testing today not me but like the older kids like state testing and I got yelled at in like the first 10 minutes <laughs> for being too loud I didn't get yelled at but like someone like security guard came in and was like um you're too loud and I was like uh oh so that'll be interesting for the next month I need to figure out like exactly when they're done testing because we can't start recorders before then I mean I'm gonna try to look up like recorder activities like maybe they could start learning the fingerings and we could start playing one by one like that wouldn't be an issue but like all the class anyone who's taught recorder or been in class when you've learned recorder you know it gets super loud she said that the room that i'm near um said that they could hear the like xylophones today but she said it was like calming so that's good we can keep using those um if anything i guess we could just do xylophones and practice our actual music reading abilities and then do recorders in may just for like a month with fourth through six and then fourth and fifth can do it again next year um so yeah maybe that's what we'll do but i am finishing or working on my wednesday attendance list so that I can have that ready, at least have the morning classes and then I can finish those up during the videos. 
and yeah today was good had my double kindergarten they both kindergartners were fine i didn't have any major behavior issues today past two days for me have actually been pretty smooth um so fingers crossed maybe it's smooth sailing the rest of the year i'm um, just gonna go with that for now <laughs> but man my room is such a disaster like it i clean it like almost every day fix stuff stuff's always falling like Please tell me I'm not alone in this because I swear every day it's like a mini tornado comes in and attacks my room. Like I don't, and the kids don't even go near the stuff that's falling so it doesn't make any sense. But after school I get done at 2.30 I will probably get out of here like as soon as I'm done because I just don't like being in this room because it literally feels like a coffin sometimes. I have no windows, it's cold, um, I have no phone service, so I'll probably get out of here as soon as possible and go get an iced coffee and then head over to where I am, um, my, where my car dealership is so that I can turn my car in because they are going to give me a loaner car today and then fix the air conditioning issue that's happening in my car. So that's the plan. Maybe I'll have some extra time because I have a bunch of messages to respond to on Facebook and Instagram of teachers wanting to join my fitness family, which by the way, if you're ever interested about that or just learning more, I always have the link in the description of my like YouTube videos just in case. Um, I know a few of you have used that to sign up and it doesn't like register you. It's just like to get more information from me, but that was just a little plug there because I like don't really mention it in my videos here. But yeah, so I'm going to finish up these as much as I can get done in the next 10 minutes with these rosters and then that's the warning bell. I've got like uh, less than 10 minutes. I got like eight, eight minutes till it's time to go daycare duty. Hi. I can see your car out there. Oh yeah, because you got the... Yeah, new car. Did he go out yet? Yes. Yes, he did. Your email. Who pooped in here? There's Hello. Stop talking about poop crumbs. I am currently changing our calendar because it still says December, so I figured it's about time to put April on there. Uh -oh. Why I never know what's going on? Uh. <laughs> no, you would never know either way. <laughs> I went to the car dealership. They gave me a Kia Optima. It's stark white though, which scares. Yeah, Optima. Yeah. Ooh, girl. Which scares the crap out of me. And he was like, "It's brand new. There's 29." Did you get the renter's insurance? You're gonna end up like Michael in a lake with no runner's insurance. Anyways, <laughs> there's 29 miles on it. Well, now there's like 30 or some 37. And he was like, it's perfect condition, like no scratches. Man, I found the biggest scratch on the front of it before we left. I was like, um, Did we're you gonna. Tell him? Yes, I was like, we're gonna need to write this down for sure. He was like, oh, that's just dirt. I was like, no, feel it. It was like a huge old scratch. I was like, Y'all ain't about to catch me slipping. Did I'm you get renter's insurance? What are you talking? No, they just take your regular car insurance. Oh, no, we're going to pay for a whole new car. Renter's insurance. I don't even know what that means. I don't think you're technically renting. So. I have good insurance, I think. It's like I'm protected on both sides. Did you just fart? No, if it's bruiser, like, dying. I was like, you really about to fart on my camera? Anyways. Tell me how long. Ooh, that light. Um, good morning. It's Wednesday. I'm trying to be quiet because Brandon's still asleep, obviously. But it is 5.48 just in time for me to shower. My makeup from last night apparently didn't all come off, so that's fabulous. Um, yeah. About to go get in the shower and then get ready for school. Y'all, this mess. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes, yikes, yikes. And like, kids keep touching my stuff. And that's okay. But then I'm like, why do I even fix anything? Because someone's gonna touch something today that they're not supposed to. I need to put all my ukuleles back in the boxes, but I'm not gonna do that till later because we're pretty much done with ukuleles this year. We've been playing xylophones and metallophones though in first and second, which is fun. Or no, second and third. My books are a disaster. I need to get a bookshelf. I want to like redo my room this summer because I'm traveling early in the summer, but pretty much July and August I'm here. And I'm like, what can I do in here? Like, ugh. so many teachers have really cool things like shiplap walls and stuff, but mine's all brick except for this over here. 
I just don't know. If you have any suggestions of what I could do, I really want to get rid of that thing because it doesn't even work. Um, so I'm sure I can get rid of that, put it in a closet or whatever. But I need a bookshelf. That thing has no purpose either. I mean, I could use it, but I think it still has stuff from the old teacher. That printer is of no use either. Um, it doesn't even work. Uh, the tech teacher told me to throw it away like at the beginning of the year and I forgot. But yeah, if you have any suggestions of what I could do to like, I don't know, I just want to spice it up. And I really don't want to redo my bulletin board though. I really hate bulletin boards. Like they're my least favorite thing ever. So unless I see a really good idea, this might be staying. I mean, I'll fix the notes that are falling off and stuff, but I'm glad my banners are staying up. Not. And I clearly need to come up with a better plan for my markers and stuff because those drawers can't hold them. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I'm going to move some stuff around this summer. I saw somewhere someone made like a broken instrument grave, and I think that's what I'm going to do. That's why I'm keeping this. I mean, I could get that restrang, restrang, <laughs> restrung, yeah, restrung, but I might just keep it as an example. And they had like mallets in there and a bunch of like broken instruments, um, and they explained like how they died, and like they said it's a good way to teach kids like proper use and stuff before it's too late. But I need to change my countdown because it's 33. I survived. Like seriously, I think the rest of the school year is going to fly by. Because after today, I only have 32 school days left. Because I'm missing three of them for Cancun. And one of them is going to be not even at school. I'm going to take my choir kids downtown. And I will be helping a lot with that event. But the event's probably going to be super fun. Because I'll be with my colleagues. And my kids will all be with other kids from the district. And so really it's more like 31. And then you think about all the times we have field trips. Like one of the days is field day. And like really? Like if we just keep taking all those out. It's more like 25 teaching days. Which is crazy but like it's flying. The kids were pretty well behaved again today, which is sort of scary. I think that they know that testing is really serious and that if they get in trouble, they're in big trouble because if they get suspended, it's like a huge deal right now because of state testing. Um, state testing will be all month, so that's cool. But my circles are perfect for tomorrow. I am editing right now. And I finished most of my class lists. I need to print off a couple more tomorrow morning, but all the morning ones are done. And I see the kids that I had today again on Friday. And today was a pretty good day, so I'm not mad about that. But yeah, today I am going to run a bunch of weird errands. I am going to go to, well, I get out at 2.30. Then I'm going to drive over to my side of town and go to Target, get something healthy to eat for dinner. And if I can't find something, then I'm going to get like maybe snacks from Target and then a grilled chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. Because today is what's called my refeed day for my workout program. So I'm actually allowed to have um, extra carbs today, which is awesome. And when I'm at Target, I might look around a little bit because I have a little bit of time to kill. I need to be at church at 6, and so I literally have time to kill between 2.30 and 6.30, I think. Um, and I'm just going to hang out at church because I go to like a giant church and there's coffee all the time and all that stuff. So I'm going to go do work there instead of like driving home, having to drive back and blah, blah, blah. So that's the plan. I'm hoping that the car dealership doesn't call me today and say my car is done because I can't come pick it up. Um, but I haven't heard anything yet, so we will see. I might try to call during my daycare duty because there's two teachers in there and a bunch of other adults. And I could totally watch the kids while I call, but I don't have service in my room or I'd call right now. But not an option. Good morning happy thursday i am exhausted exhausted i'm exhausted i woke up to my alarm at four went out to the living room and fell asleep till five and woke up and was like no no way so i slept till 5 50 and then showered and got ready and stuff because that's like the latest i can go if i have to shower um 
I'm so tired. I think I need to remember that if I'm attending young adults on Wednesday nights that I need to sleep in on Thursdays because I can't handle being out till 9.30, especially because in between um, school and young adults, I was doing work the whole time. So like I didn't really get a break yesterday uh, at all. I mean, young adults is fun, but like as far as being present and doing stuff, I didn't get a break until bedtime. Um, so yeah. But today I have choir after school, so I'm sort of scrambling to get all that stuff together right now before the day starts. So, I'll probably check in with you during my plan ball at the end of the day. I'm so dead. I'm so tired. I, like, so wish we didn't have choir, but we have to have it today. And obviously we're going to because I can't just cancel it now. Um, but, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. But the kids have a performance on May 7th combined with the rest of the district and they have not even started the music and there's four songs and they're like choir songs that my kids aren't even like, they don't know how to read music or anything. <laughs> like not choir music, I've never given it to them. They've learned everything by ear this year um, because that's just what's happened. I don't know, I love like teaching sight reading and stuff and I will start with that next year but this year choir was just sort of such a thrown together thing for me um and we had so many random weird performances where we had to prepare the music quickly so yeah we um don't know how to sight read yet so it'll be interesting they're very quick though they're smart kids so I think they'll pick it all up by ear anyways but I'll still teach them how to read music today like how to follow it um but that's a that's a hard skill so We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted. That's the warning bell, meaning I only have a couple more minutes before I have to go to daycare duty. I have no idea what's going on with my car. I haven't heard anything back today. I'm going out of town tomorrow afternoon, so I don't know when I'm going to get my car back <laughs> or give them this loaner car back. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I'm just going to call them on my way home from school, see if there's been any update. And if there hasn't, I can pick it up tonight after my meeting, like at like 8. And they're open till 9, I think. But I can't pick it up tomorrow because I have to rush up to Columbus, which is like two hours away. But these are the songs we're doing for our district. Um, it's called Community Collage. We're doing Follow the Drinking Gourd by Rollo Dilworth. The water is wide. By Rollo Dilworth, arranged, of course. Over the Rainbow, arranged by Andy Beck. And Kusi Mama, arranged by um, Jim Papoulis, or written by Jim Papoulis. But yeah, I did that one with my sixth grade choir last year, so that's funny. But I have never done these other three. I was familiar with Waters Wide. I was not extremely familiar with Kusi Mama or Follow Drinking Gourd. But I will be conducting Over the Rainbow for the entire district in May. So that'll be interesting. Guys, my day might be turning around. I'm so happy. Since I last talked to you, everything sucked. <laughs> um, so I was supposed to go to my Bible study group at 5.30. Well, it's not Bible study. It's actually more like a book club now because we finished our like stuff we were doing. Anyways, it's my friends from Nicaragua and I freaking love them and they fill my cup and like seeing them seriously makes my week. Like no joke, like it makes my week. And I won't get to go to our next meeting because I'll be in Cancun. So if I miss today, it means I'm not seeing them for a whole month and I'm going to have serious FOMO and I'm going to freaking be sad. So anyways... I called the dealership that has my car right now, because this is the loaner car, and I called them when I was waiting for my kids to get picked up from choir, which by the way, everyone was gone in 15 minutes, which is awesome. Um, thank goodness, because at the beginning of the year it was more like 45, an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I called the dealership and they're like, oh, your car will probably be done around five. And everything they've told me has been so late that I don't truly believe five o'clock is really going to happen. Um, and my meeting was at 530. It's on the other side of town. And I have to like check the loaner car in and get it checked off, make sure I didn't break any of the rules, blah, 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 whatever. Instead of like moping about it, I was like, well, I'm just going to go there. There's a Starbucks near the dealership. So I'm going to go there and just do some work. Well, I got out here to the Starbucks near the dealership and was sitting in the parking lot um, checking something on my phone first. And then I got a call from the dealership and they're like, okay, it really is going to be done like right around five. And it's like 440. So I was like, okay, well then I'm just going to come out there now and be ready. And he was like, okay, it should be done. So 
I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get there and um, I can check this loaner car in and check that off and then get straight to my car when it's finished and like have all the paperwork done so it's done at 5 because then I'll probably be able to make it to my group at 5:30, which makes me so happy and oh I'm just like everything's working out hopefully and I had 395 left on a Starbucks gift card and I got a nice coffee which was only 315 so I was under my gift card <laughs> Like, that's really important to me. So I got some iced coffee. Need all the energy for life. Um, but yeah, I'm pumped. I hope everything continues to go the way it looks like it might be going. Hey, I'm back in my car. I'm so happy. I got my baby back. Um, but I am not going to get to go to my group, which is a bummer. But I would have been like an hour late, which is just really rude. <laughs> We usually meet for like two hours, but we're discussing a book. Like I'd be missing the conversation. Like, I don't know. I just don't want to be super rude. And my hair probably looks a mess because I just took my headband off because my head hurts. Um, I'm about to take my ponytail out. My head just like is throbbing. I don't know why. Um, but I'm going to go home and pick up Brandon and then we're going to go get sushi for dinner and bring it home and probably watch TV. And then I have an Instagram giveaway tonight at 8 p.m. So I have to make sure I am alert for that. But luckily when I was at Jeff Weiler, I was able to like respond to a bunch of people who are like trying to join my fitness fam, mostly teachers on Instagram. So that was awesome because I really needed to do that. So I got to catch up with that. So it was successful, but I was right. The car was supposed to be ready at five and it wasn't ready until 5.30, shocker, but whatever. I didn't get any charges on the loaner car and I got my car back and the AC's working, which was the problem. So I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. I'm gonna chug this water bottle and then chug another one when I get home real quick because I need to get rid of this headache because I don't have the time for a headache right now. Today was pretty good though, like my classes were fine. I don't even think I talked about my classes today um, on here. Like there was nothing bad. I'm just so tired. My patience is so low. Um, one of my kindergartners had a meltdown, but he pretty much does that all the time. So that wasn't really anything special. I don't know. Nothing really interesting. None of the classes were overtly bad or overtly good they were all just sort of blah and they did stuff oh something interesting one of my fourth graders is from Nigeria as of like a few months ago like literally just got here and he's always loved music so in in addition to having a Nigerian accent he also has some sort of speech impediment um, it's very hard to understand him I've actually pride myself on being very good at knowing what he's saying but like even the kids in his class like have literally no idea what he's saying 98% of the time because he's really hard to understand um, and he like doesn't seem to understand that he's hard to understand either <laughs> so that's a whole different thing but anyways he's always loved music class um but he doesn't i wouldn't say he let he like loves school um because he's had problems with bullying and stuff but he's always loved music and he's always been pretty good at music for what we're doing whatever everyone's pretty good at it because i try to make it that way hello i'm looking fabulous and you are being propped up by a banana um <laughs> checking in because my camera's dead the real question is is my charger at school? Cause I can't find it here. So <laughs> fingers crossed it is. But tonight I went, or I got my car and it's all good. My camera died while I was trying to tell you a story that I'll tell you tomorrow if my charger is there. <laughs> and um, I got Piata with Brandon, which is deliciousness. It's like a Chipotle style pasta place. It's amazing. And we took Bruce on a walk and yeah. Now I'm packing for Columbus because we leave after school tomorrow. Hello, it's lunchtime Friday. Well, the end of lunch. My students should be here any minute. But I just want to check in real quick. Yes, my charger was here and I've been charging it all morning. So we are good. We're at 100% now. Um, but yeah, last night I just went to Piata with Brandon and then we watched TV and I cleaned a little bit and had a, posted a giveaway on Instagram, which is going on right now, but it'll be over by the time you see this and yeah and did like stuff for my fitness job but today's been fine i've had to kick two kids out and put them in the art room because they've just been like poopy and we're doing instruments so i don't have time for poopy kids while there's breakable stuff but yeah i'll check back in with you at the end of the day because i know this annoying noise is happening right now i survived the week which i didn't know if i was gonna be able to 
but I did. Ha ha ha. <sighs> I'm a little tired. But I'm sure I'll perk up because tonight I'm meeting all my friends in Columbus for a work event um, and a live workout and stuff. And then Brandon and I are staying in a hotel, so it should be a fun night. But yeah, a wee bit sleepy currently. I just finished. <laughs> I just finished making copies of and passing out permission slips for my choir kids for the Saturday rehearsal they have to do. And I love seeing them when they're like not in my class because sometimes they're sassy in my class but whenever they see me outside they're like hi today my kindergartners were obsessed with telling me they loved me like i love you miss hillard i love you miss hillard and it was possibly the cutest thing ever um so i wasn't even mad that it was completely random and disruptive because it was adorable but yeah the rest of the day wasn't too special or bad or anything yes i just threw a piece of my hair onto my desk so i can throw it away in a second <laughs> Um, I'm just so tired, but like I sort of wish I was going home and going to bed tonight, but I know like once I am home that I'll be happy, or once I'm in Columbus I'll be happy and excited and I'll be happy in the car ride and stuff. It's just like right now it's like it'd be great to just like go to bed. <laughs> that would be wonderful. But that's okay. So that's what's going on. I am going to end it here. I'm going to document the rest of my weekend on Instagram for you guys. So make sure you're following me because I often do that on the weekends. Like I pretty much stop vlogging and then I vlog like through Instagram stories basically. Um, my handle is at teaching.in.pearls because I used to own the handle teaching in pearls. Then I deleted that account and once you delete an account the name goes away forever. So. That's cool. But if you watch this whole thing, I seriously appreciate it. Uh, this week has been rough, but not terrible. Just like it's hard coming back from spring break. So I appreciate you sticking with me and I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. We gon' walk it out and move.